It's a grizzly. Should we get out of here? No. We're gonna watch and listen. Oh, good evening, everybody. Welcome to another edition with Grizzly on the Hunt with Psychic Medium. I've got Brian. Derek Green is not feeling too good this evening, so he's got the night off. But we have everybody. Uh, Brian, hello, Mort Esberg, Lady Wolf. Hello, what's going on, Twister Witch? Hey, Twister Witch, that last show, I'll tell you what, you know, how heart was to sit there, don't let the popo come out of me and uh, ask like a million questions. I felt sorry, <laughs> I really do feel sorry for the family. Right, you know, I done done gave out the information to the panel, but you know, it's hard not to drill somebody and ask them a thousand questions about everything. Uh, but it it's it's very it's heartbreaking to hear their story. Hello, Pamela Hawkins. Welcome to the show. There, welcome, welcome. So, uh, very strange uh, on that last show, and it was difficult. Because, you know, anytime that you're involving somebody on a case with family members, the first thing your instinct is, is to start asking a lot of questions. But you don't want to feel like you're trying to incriminate somebody because you're trying to help them, right? So, you know, uh, it's hard when it's an open case, an ongoing case, ongoing investigation, whatnot. But... The panel has got the information, ladies and gentlemen. They are already working on it. Uh, so, Twisted Witch, uh, yes, they've already released some information. I'm like, stop! Do not tell me anymore. <laughs> I do not want to be cross-contaminated. But welcome, Brian. Introduce yourself. Tell everybody who you are and what you do. Well, I'm somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are somebody, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm Brian Whelan, and uh, I'm from Canada. Uh, I'm a member of the Southwest Yorkshire Paranormal Team. I'm an empath medium. I'm also a paranormal researcher, and that, and um, that, and I absolutely love doing live streams with this uh, lovely gentleman, Chris. As well as that's right, with, man. We love to uh, 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 rock it out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so we love to rock it out with you. But yeah, so, uh, standing stones. So well, I really love doing it. Yep. Oh, you can keep talking. Music cut off here in a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's I, like, it's just a little play. Yeah, I like doing uh, my. I do my own live streams uh, on uh, Facebook uh, using the Swift page. Uh, I do so uh, with my boss, Derek Green. He, as Chris said, that he's feeling poorly. And that well, him and I do a live stream every Wednesday, um, and that and the topic is anything spiritual, paranormal, or mediumship. And that and but the, but the one area that I really have a deep fascination for, and that is parapsychology, and that 
And I've been doing a lot of research into that, and I find it absolutely fascinating. I was standing stones. Hello. What is what you just said, parapsychology? Parapsychology is, ba is basically scientists that uh, they, 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 they take science and try to uh, explain uh, phenomena that's deemed unknown, you know, like, um, you know, like, uh, well, well, the, well, the one term that you used in your last live stream about touching photos and stuff like that, okay, that's known as psychometry. That is correct. Okay, which is actually comes from two Latin words, with meaning uh, spirit or soul and distance. And that, and basically all what that is, is like I, I've used psychometry myself in the past, and see, whatever item you get hold of, and that, there's a, there is a, there's a certain amount of residual energy, personal energy on that item, you know, like from the person that once owned it. And what I do is I link into that energy to get whatever information is on that item, whether it's a photo, jewelry, clothing, whatever. And that Derek does that a lot. I do that sometimes. And that, like, I, I, I've had to do so with, uh, with my wife's um, jewelry that she got from her relatives. Well, I held some... I had some, uh, some jewelry and told her how that relative got the jewelry, how often she wore it, and that, and what she thought of it. And that, even though it's just coming bits and pieces and that, but that's basically what psychometry is, is linking into what I call residual energy, which is memory energy. Well, that's pretty interesting because a lot of people don't understand that. <laughs> and uh, what's really interesting is that scientist says that they have proven that there is life after death and it's life really so you finally came forward and admitted that there is something after our death and it's like where have y'all been all these millennia <laughs> thousands of years right so it's very interesting that they just now uh came forward and said that uh, and announced that. Uh, I was reading the article on Psychology Today about that, and I was fascinated because, you know, anymore when it comes to people with abilities, no matter how they get their information, remote viewing, dousing, uh, psychic, psychic medium, uh, yeah. telekinesis, whatever, however clairvoyant, whatever you want to say, right? You know, lady will call me anything you want. It's okay. I, as long as you call me not late for dinner, I'm okay. <laughs> I always say but, that. <laughs> yeah, right? But the thing, though, is, is that everybody in, in society, in world, this world today, wants to put something or a label on something, and they want to put numerics, you know, in a scientific factor behind it to make it proven to be a fact or reality, which in all circumstances and cases, you are not able to do that. And that is the God particle uh, and people playing God and so forth. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, there's so much things out there that we do not understand. And I still tell people on every show, there are things that walk upon this earth that people do not believe in that exist. And that is the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so, yeah, sure. you know, uh, it, and it, it, there are people that doubt people that have abilities. And I, I always say to people, you know what? You know, you have your doubts, but when you have your moments with these people that have gotten their abilities for near-death experiences, traumatic events, skip generations, pass downs from generations, however they do get them from God, or a higher power, however you want to label it or characterize it, that's fine. But you do have your fakes out there, absolutely. Oh, and yes. There are a lot of them that want your money. Yeah, you I know, almost every day. So, uh, and you know, I, I had a conversation the other day with, with a lady, and, and she was telling me how much she doesn't believe in them. And I was like, you know what? let's make a phone call and we can change your outlook. And she was like, well, how can you change my outlook on how I feel about people with these so-called abilities? 
Mm. That was like because you never came across the true ones that actually have the right one, the right ability that uses them properly and that doesn't fabricate things. And they will open up your eyes. And it never fails is that when they do have a conversation with them, I always tell them, don't say a word, just sit there and let them do all the talking, mm-hmm. you know? And a lot of people is like, well, you know, they, they tell me stuff or I'll ask a question and they're wrong. Well, you know, it's Brian and you can contest to this, you know, I can ask a question, but if you don't understand the question, are you going to answer it properly or correctly? So, and this is where we talk about working on code cases, unsolved murder cases, and so forth. And we talked about this on other shows when it comes to people with abilities, psychic, clairvoyance, remote viewers, and so forth, is that, you know, people have to ask certain questions to get certain answers. Then they have to go back and ask those questions over a different way to validate the answers they got to make sure that their answers are correct or in the same fashion, the the way that they want to be answered. So, you know, if somebody asks a question, you know, where is so-and-so or what is so-and-so doing, you know, it doesn't mean at that exact same moment in time, you know, what is that person doing? That person may be at Kroger shopping, but in their mind, they may be thinking about their loved one. You know, does that mean they're crossed over? Absolutely not. So, and this is where, you know, some of the methodical things that people do with abilities uh, that are on this panel have pages of reports and analytical responses to these cases because when they ask a certain question, they have to break it down. They have to go into each step. Okay. And I ask this question, then I have to ask this question to validate this answer. I have to ask this this question to validate this answer. Now, this answer, I have to ask this answer in a form of a question to validate this to go to the next step. Because if you are trying to solve a, a criminal case, you know, you have to have the prima facie evidence. That's the elements of the crime, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, there are, and I'm going to get, and I should have done this on the last show, and I didn't because the law enforcement side wanted to come out, but you have confessions and you have omissions. Now, there are two different things, ladies and gentlemen. You know, a confession and a mission, a lot of people don't know the difference, and you see this a lot in movies, okay, and a mission. Kelly, hello, Kelly. Welcome to the show. From you okay? Yeah, okay. So, uh, Kelly is sitting here telling me, Grizzly, I did it. Well, in most people's eyes, she is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt because she just confessed. No, she didn't. She admitted to doing something. Uh That is an admission. A confession is when Kelly says, Grizzly, I couldn't sleep that night. My neighbor would not quit playing his loud music. For months, it drove me nuts. Hello, Denise. I was not getting any sleep. I had some drinks to try to get me to go to sleep. The music was getting loud and louder. I was I lost my mind. I went next door, and I used whatever object, hammer, two by four, whatever, and I knocked him out, and I killed him. And this is how I did it. This is how I got into the house. That is a confession. That is the prima facie evidence. That is the elements of the crime, ladies and gentlemen. That is the difference. Mm-hmm. Anybody could admit to anything, but what we look for is a confession. And that's what I say in French, confession. Like Tristan, <laughs> right? I've heard that before. <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah. But, you know, a lot of people don't understand that. And, you know, and... Yeah, yeah, come on my shows and challenge anybody that I bring on and, and challenge any of the people with abilities that says psychic, psychic me and clear. I mean, do what you want, you know, because you're not making an ass out of them. You're making an ass out of yourself because the questions that you're actually asking are the improper questions to get what you really want to know. 
and try to disprove that the credibility of somebody is a false person. Now, Grizzly vets people. Okay. Now, there's a vetting process. Grizzly just don't bring people. Well, I got abilities, Grizzly. And I want to be honest. That's not how things work. Yeah. You know, there's things that you have to prove to me to show, and you have to have history. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Twisted Witch, and Twisted can tell you this. Yes, Twisted, my doll has moved. I'm getting ready to get the tape gun out <laughs> and tape everything to, to them patient. all. So, yes. Well, I had to tape the, the, the cat balls to my mic stands and stuff so they don't get tossed and hit me in the head or my nards and stuff. So, yes. I know, right? So, I try not to look at them. I'm thinking about moving them. But anyway. But, you know, and that's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you know, palm readers, whatever. Yeah, yeah, there is a science to that. There is mythology to that. There are books you can read, learn how to do that. There are now there are people out there that claim that they can take an average person and turn them into a psychic medium or to a psychic. Is that possible? Yes, that can. Does everybody have that ability? Yes, that it can be unlocked. But my thing is, is that why pay somebody to try to teach you that? Because to me, I'm not saying this is for everybody, but to me, it's instigating that they want to take money from somebody, right? Now, somebody said the other day during the show, well, you know what? And I'm going to use crazy wits. Well, I did a reading and I didn't like the reading. Well, I asked for a refund. Well, let me tell you something. If I was a person that was given a rating and you didn't get what you wanted, it is not my fault because I would disclose to you up front, just like I do on the other shows. If Brian is trying to give you a rating and you want to talk to your grandma or your great grandmother, and you got your loud mouth, great uncle in the background that's <laughs> jumping up and down and screaming bloody murder. Guess who's coming to the front of the line? And sometimes your great grandmother is not there to be talked to, and he may have to talk to his spirit guides and say, "Hey, go out there and find great grandmother Susan and tell her I'm looking for." Her. <laughs> exactly. That's how things work, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm, I tell you this. Hello, lovelies, Robin. Welcome to the show. I tell people this because I want people to understand how psychics and people. With abilities work. I did my research. I did my investigation. I used my law enforcement background and went through and studied what makes these people tick, how they got their abilities, why they have their abilities, and what did they do with their abilities and how they were when they were going throughout life. And I'm talking from an early childhood to their adulthood. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. 97% of these people with abilities are effed up in the head because of the way they were treated, because they were, you know, punked out, mistreated, bullied. They were different. They didn't fit in. They didn't understand why they did things that people could not, other people did not see or hear. You know, they were medicated. They were treated like they were crazy. You know, they just, they saw things, they hear things. They didn't understand why you didn't do the same thing. Hello, Tracy Inman. Welcome to the show. Paralink.com. So, yes. But, uh, you know, and this is what I'm trying to explain to people. And they got this fascination that people like Brian, Derek, you know, the people that I had that work for the U.S. government, you know, that just like la ti da ti da ti da you can just not, I mean, they really endured horrible lives. And like the last La La we had on the show uh, with Barb Hartman opened the door, you know, I expanded on her and I didn't mean to give a reading on her in front of people because that is a no-no in, in the psychic world. You do not give readings unless you ask permission. And that was, and I felt bad because I know what she, I felt her struggles throughout life and she validated everything because, and, and she still has problems to this day fitting in because she doesn't understand because the things that are opening up to her 
that's still new and her horizon has broadened and has expanded and it's gotten so powerful so fast it scares the hell out of her and people don't understand that would they what they see ladies and gentlemen is the stuff they see on tv where they're walking around and like da 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 do it and has a da 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 and then a ha da ha and that'd be 250 dollars well okay you know, and the reasons why some people only do that for a living, ladies and gentlemen, because A, they don't know how to turn it off, number one. And number two, it screws them up being out in public because they have all that energy from other people and they feel it. And like Lala said, I can walk by people and I know when you are a creepy person and you do things to children. Now, if I had that ability, I'd probably be in jail, ladies and gentlemen, because I wouldn't probably control myself walking by and looking at somebody and seeing what they do to people or children or how they treat their spouses or what they've done or who they murdered and got away with 20 years ago. I mean, I couldn't deal with that. Then they want to know why people's on medication and people think they're nuts and crazy and they don't fit in with the society. Now, I'm not trying to take the show away from Brian. I'm trying to educate people because people like Brian don't have the opportunity to tell them the world, the crap they go through their whole life to get to where they're at. They don't live a normal life, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, and I'll look straight at the camera and tell you, they don't. In my book, whenever I get it finished, we'll explain that. Because my intent, when I went out a year and a half ago or whenever to start this journey, was to expose these fakes with, with abilities. Instead, I went on a spiritual journey and realized the sorrow, the dread, the stuff that they held in and how many people committed suicide because of the things they didn't understand because the families, friends or whatever called them. You're crazy. Something's wrong with you. You're weird, you know, and everybody that I ever talked to has been bullied in some sort of fashion. Now, if that was your child today and they came home from school and you were told that they were bullied, you think you're going to sit on your tarsh and not go up to school and take care of things? No, because let me tell you what happens, ladies and gentlemen. I would get the phone call to go out to your house and take a police report and turn around and go to the school and deal with it the next morning to make sure that no school shootings would happen or somebody didn't get whacked. So, you know, we got to look at ourselves in the mirror and, and stop treating people with disrespect. Just because they don't fit in doesn't mean that they're a bad person. People are different, ladies and gentlemen. We're human beings. We got to respect people. If you don't like somebody, then that's fine. And I tell people on Facebook, scroll it. Pass it. Pass it. Move forward. Don't hit that emoji. Don't hit that LOL. You're ignorant. You dumb son of a whatever. <laughs> let it go. Because let me tell you something. People that have experiences or abilities or seeing stuff has messed them up from life. And I can tell you for a fact, it's undocumented. How many people have committed suicide and ended their lives because of people's comments and how people have treated people because of their indifferences and, oh, they didn't see what they thought they saw or there was no way they saw that. They must have been high. They must have been on drugs. Or they were drinking. Very true. Well, you know what? I'm surprised my psychiatrist told me years ago, I don't see why and how you're not an alcoholic. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, everybody. I didn't mean to get on a on a tangent there, but you know, <laughs> I'm tired of people. It needs, it needs telling, to be 
Well, and I'm tired of people making fun of people and telling people they're not who they are and who they are not. If you don't agree with it, I don't care. That's fine. That's your opinion. Because let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I had somebody that doubted somebody. And man, when I used to see orders, I got so upset and mad. And hatred was in me. I went inside this person and I pulled out their darkest secrets that they were doing behind their spouse's back. And that person then became a believer and we don't talk to this day. Robin, yes, took me about 54 to finally understand what was going on. I had things happen all my life. Luckily, I had people witness things around me and I couldn't talk about it. Parents, when I was young, as that was be one way ticket to the psychiatrist's office, you're right. Pamela Hockett, you can't please everybody. You, you're right. You can't. And that's sad. Crazy wits, 100%. Yes, exactly, Rob. Yeah, I mean, you know, I didn't mean to be on a tangent or anything, everybody. He's a lady wolf and twist, twist the witch. <laughs> you're absolutely right in the money, Grizzly. I've gone that way all my life because what I can do. I relate. I may not agree on some things in life, what people do. But you know what? I don't have to answer to them. I don't have to answer to what you all want to call their sins. Whatever you want to label it. So that's fine. So I'm sorry, Mr. Brian. I did not <laughs> no, mean to friend. take take that up. But no, I'm, no, I'm to, I, it, just, I just it, felt it that that sad. had to be said. Yes, exactly. I really do. And then, uh, standing stones. It happens for sure that it is case in mass that she told her boyfriend to kill himself and they put a hose and exhaust in the car window and started the car in the garage. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mary Sandra, inbox me now. Would I need to inbox you now? So I must have missed something or I skipped the. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just being honest, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And if I'm running off the channel because of what I said, then I'm sorry. Hey, just be, be sorry hey, just be nice to people. Exactly. You know, if you don't agree, just smile and shake your head and be like interesting. And think what you want. But let me tell you something. You may think what you want, but they can still hear you. Yeah. So how are you doing, Brian? I'm doing really <laughs> good. And then I and I have noticed at times, you know, some people of us have called Derek a fake, they called me a fake. And I said, I, and I, I said to him, I'll tell you what, that if you think we're fake, okay, and we and we don't know you from Adam, and that I said, why don't why don't we do a video call, and that and we gave you a direct reading. You don't tell us anything. You don't say anything while we're doing the video call, and we'll tell you stuff that only you would know, and at the end, make up your own mind as to whether we're fake or not. And it's not hard reading, it's not cold reading, and that, and um, did we look at your profile? No, because you just messaged us saying that we're fake, so we don't know you, and that said there's no contamination, and that, and then, and, and then, uh, and at the end of the reading, say whether we we're, we're, we're fake or not, but the chances are, spiritually, and that it's going to open up your eyes. It will. It really does. Now, Stingray, let me let me explain something to you. I like you a lot. I'm not going to BS you at all. But let me tell you something how I operate. If you don't know who Columbo is, that's me. I'll play as dumb as a rock. I'll I give Columbo. you enough rope to hang yourself. I love debates. I love conversations. If I'm wrong, I will tell you I'm wrong. If I don't know, I will tell you I don't know. Now, I've seen and heard some pretty far out stretch things in my life, but it is what it is. Lady Wolf, I agree with you. Be kind. Be like Graham, she should say. If you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say it at all. Exactly. I agree. And that, it, it, That's how I, I was it. raised, Lady Wolf. Yeah. Uh, you have an orb in your studio, Grizzly. So now that's either two things. 
Uh, Brian, now do not look at the comments, but I'm, I'm going to type in who I think it is. And I want you to tell me who that orb you think it is floating around. Well, the, well, the, well, the sound I'm getting is giggling. I'm getting a, I'm getting a giggling. So I'd say it's a, it's a little girl because she's so impatient. She's trying to say, come on, let's play, let's play, let's play. And my guy's telling her, calm down. He could not see that comment. No. So, that, no, oh, it's right. The no. older lady, she just, she, she just, yeah, just watching. I find it amusing. But the little girl, she's really, the only way I can put her is at times she can be a little high strung. And then, yeah, and she, that she, she, she gets me worked she up. Yeah, I know. That's why it, it, <laughs> I, I think she's the one that throws them at me. That Jackie and Jackie. She is. It, yeah. You see, you see, it reminds her of a little ball that she had when she was on the airplane. Right? She had a little bad ball that bounced around. I that got reminds you. Of her. So, no, standing or uh, sting right now, you didn't do anything, man. I like you. You, know, you make me laugh. But, you know, it's just people need to understand things. And we'll be yep. right back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to. Talk about some interesting things. Stand by. Welcome back, everybody. It's another edition of Grizzly on the Hunt. I got Brian from Canada, psychic. Derek Green is not feeling good, ladies and gentlemen. So, Stingray, uh, no, man, you're fine. You're not Stingray, irritating you're people. You're so, amazing. no, you're fine, man. You're not irritating, irritating anybody, man. What is he Try me first thing in the morning. Ah, man. <laughs> I, I, you know, I can get up first thing in the morning. I can take off. And I don't. I don't have to drink coffee. So, <laughs> Standing Stone says, "Stingray, Stingray you're kind of cool, dude." He is, man. I, I don't have any qualms with anybody. You know, I only kick one person in my lifetime out of my studio, and that was the other night when they were saying nasty comments about certain things that should not be you know, populated in the comment section because oh, you don't know when kids are going to be watching this YouTube channel, oh, yeah. even though it's not rated for children. I mean, yeah. you just don't make certain comments. Yeah. Now, there are platforms for that if you want to make comments and whatever, but, you know, be professional. And sometimes we do get up in the ditch. <laughs> and how beautiful. But uh, we try there. to keep it professional. But, yeah. But no, and you know, it's it's just amazing because, you know, it's it, it's sad what what people go through in life, and and I and I thought about this during the last show, and you know, I picked up on things, and it's hard not to drill people. And Kelly, yeah, right, and Lady Wolf, I, I knew Lady Wolf was getting up laughing crazy. I knew Crazy Witch was going to be be laughing too because. What the hell's going on over there? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I did that uh, on another show and they freaked out. They were like, what in the world was that? It wasn't my show. I did that 
And then I changed it to a baby and uh, I got laughing so hard because they were laughing and the baby sounded like a dang on demon and it scared them and I couldn't <laughs> turn it off. It got stuck and they're like, stop it. So, yes, <laughs> but I mean, it did. It sounded like a, a, an evil baby laughing. So, oh, but, yeah, it was uh, it was people from over in UK. I ain't going to mention who it was. And I didn't know, Brian, that they were talking to me because I couldn't understand them because their accent was so strong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would just sit there and wave when people would come on the show and they were talking to me. And I would say, hey. Catch the wave. They, yeah. And they were just staring at me. And I was like, damn. <laughs> I, and my computer keeps reading. I keep looking at everything. I'm like. Something's not right. My internet shows it's perfect, I and mean, I keep freezing up. And uh, yep. one of the American girls were like, "Hey, you go, Grizzly, they're talking to you." And I was like, "What?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm sorry." And and the girl asked me a question. I'm like, "Yeah, I agree." And everybody lost it, and they're like, "You have no idea what we're saying, do we? <laughs> do you?" I'm like, "No, I don't." Don't worry uh, about the skin right here. You're you're good. You're good, Stan. You're right. amazing. I, I try to be. Everybody's amazing. So, yeah. So, Kelly Elliott, you're from Cambridge and you okay. So, uh, man, I mean, these people sound like the Vikings, but worse. And then we started talking. So, I started understanding. And I was just waving, smiling when people came on the show and they were just talking to me. Hello, Lauren. Uh, welcome to the show. So, uh, yeah, it was funny, Kelly. It really was. It was embarrassing. Uh, they did invite me back, which I was surprised. They, Everybody was like, are you okay? Are you mad at us <laughs> after the show? And I was like, no, I'm good. So now, everybody always talks about reincarnation. Now, we know religion, and we know certain religions talk about how inappropriate reincarnation is. But how do people come back like they do in life in different how would you say it lives yeah and that's uh, what we, well actually you could be reincarnated multiple times and that you know like you, you see you see you see the life the life we're in now both Grizzly and i the life we're in right right now okay and that is all part of a spiritual what i call it a spiritual agenda Okay, and when we pass from the, this body to the heavenly lights, okay, uh, we're up there for a period, and that, and then we are sent back down, and that back down here to a new life, reincarnated, and that as a boy or girl, would, whichever, and that to you know become a baby or what have you, and that, and that can be done more multiple multiple times, and that and. I'll give one. Well, I'll give one example of what I find the most fascinating type of reincarnation, and that is I'll give one good example right now. And that my boss Derek Green, okay, is um, he said that in this life he is a medium, his guide is the guide, but in the next life, his guide will be the medium and Derek will be the guide. So they they, they change, they alternate. So I feel that when I leave the this physical. I'll be the guide, and Stanley, my guide, he will be down, down here once again. It's all part of the spiritual agenda. And by the way, I wanted to just quickly add, when it comes to our spiritual guides, guardian angels, whatever, and that, and that they, they choose us as to what we do long before we are born. And, that, and even our guides know what we're going to do before we're born. So when we, we are born, born down here on the earth plane and that they know okay here's brian okay this is what he's going to do hopefully he'll stay on the path on the correct path the correct spiritual path and that and luckily i stayed on that uh spiritual path and that and that's when i was introduced to my guide a few years back and he's okay here is your journey Okay, and I didn't at the time I didn't know what my journey was going to be. Well, according to my spiritual agenda, and that I should be doing like this uh, live stream with you beautiful people, and that as well as doing meetings and doing 
tutorials on different spiritual matters. And that this is what uh, you know, I'm, I'm meant to do. And my God makes sure that I, you know, do it properly, but sincerely. And that, so, yeah, so bringing kind of teeth, a lot of, uh, a lot of, it depends on what religion you follow as to whether or not you believe in reincarnation or not. Some religions are very strong about it. Other religions don't believe it at all. They think it's still you know, wrong. I say, instead of instead of looking at it in the, in the physical sense, think of more of it in the spiritual sense. You know, why we come back, you know, and, and all that and, and all that kind of stuff. There's got to be, there's got to be a purpose as to why we keep reincarnating because um, some people can can have multiple past lives as all part of reincarnation. Like myself, I I I've, I've got a, a couple. I even told by one psychic that I go back to the, the ancient times of ancient Egypt. And wow. That, and that, now I would throw something at uh, one layer and like uh, back in ancient Egypt, I could dig that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now, now Kelly Elliott says, I lost one of my birds last week and all of a sudden my nose starts itching. What did that mean? That's fair. It's in, see, when it comes to Kelly and that because she's so, because she's so open spiritually that it likes to, Tickle the t- tip of her nose, and then, or sometimes it can brush your uh, legs or something, uh, something like that. And it's areas where they know that you know, that she'll react the quickest. And then, oh, and uh, one thing people have actually never said. Uh, now this, um, people have asked me this before in the past, and that now one person actually said I can't remember where it was. But it could have been on Facebook that um, they said, oh. Animals don't have a so they don't have a spirit. Once they die, they're they they're getting these this is exist. I said, guess what? I said, God created man, he created and not just man, but God created all living things. That seen and that, unseen. That is in the book of Genesis, ladies and gentlemen. Fact check that, me on that. Yep. And so that, yes. And that so and there's documented proof. I've even seen videos of spirit cats spirit dogs and i kid you not spirit horses but no i've never seen a spirit cow and that but i've seen spirit dogs cats and and yes um uh, who mentioned about, about the uh, the bird and that spirit actually spirit, actually bird, bird birds actually have a kind of a almost like a higher level of uh standing in the world of spirit because not only they come out come back in spirit and that but also they're also symbolic yes they are means, when you see a when you see it's usually a white like a white dove and they fly away okay that's a symbol that the that, that person's spirit has been released is heading up to the heavenly lights okay that's always symbolic of release peace So, uh, Lauren says, my uncle passed away a couple of days ago. I'm sorry for your loss. I hate to hear that. That's very sad. Oh, yes, and, your and, loss. And, and I hate to hear that. And if he would come back, and if he does, what would you think he would come back as? Uh, it would depend on, the, on his spiritual agenda. But um, I think he might come in. And if, he was to come, if he was to reincarnate, he could. Or me, he could come back and come back as a female. It, de- it depends on their spiritual agenda as to what, uh, as to you know what form they come by. Was a man or a woman? And it's hard. To, it's hard to say what on their, as to what their spiritual agenda says. But it could be a man or a woman, and that. But um, yeah. So, Lauren, uh, and the reason why I'm reading this out, ladies and gentlemen, is we have a lot of uh, audio platforms for in the morning when I upload this. Lauren asked or says, I was told by a medium I live in the Victorian area, and my husband was a horse trainer. The okay. funny thing about that is my dad used to train wild horses as a young man. 
So what's very interesting, Lauren, is that uh, hopefully I'm saying your 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 name correct because you got that little thing above your E. Uh, I'm terrible with pronunciations because my accent <laughs> oh my. is is that there is a correlation. Like the girl that I'm talking to and, and with right now, uh, we used to be a king and queen in a past life, and we have been validated by. Uh, many different people with abilities that don't know each other uh, with the same story. So I, I can say that that is absolutely true. Uh, and I've been validated with other psychics on, on shows live about some of my past experiences. And usually I don't let anybody talk about my personal stuff on the air. But mm -hmm. anymore, you know, if y'all want to know, I'm down with it. Uh, I just let them do it. Uh, I will yeah. open myself up. Animals do wait for you on the other side. Uh, oh, I have actually interviewed people that only deal with animals uh, when it comes to uh, pet psychics, uh, if you want to call them that. Yeah. And they will find out what is wrong with your animals, why they are sick, why they are acting the way they are. And they actually can talk and communicate with them. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sonia is one of them. Uh, she knows uh, what her animals are, are saying. Uh, back in the day, I think there was a girl that they used to call the horse whisperer. Remember that? I think in America, they had a show where she would deal with horses and she would go to farms and figure out what was going on. Uh, okay. Yes, Lauren. Okay. I think I know the one you mean. Yeah, remember they did. I had they had her own show, Lauren. Yes, I knew you was an intuitive empath, and I should have threw that out earlier. Uh, I picked that up uh, the first time you came on the show, uh, Kelly. I called my house to go to a hotel. Uh, yeah, you gotta come and hang out in my studio with me. It, it you, yeah. never a dull moment, Kelly. Uh, uh, Twisted Witch, I love to know my past lives or experience. Well, there you go, Brian. Twisted Witch is asking you a question. I just know your past life and experiences. Well, well, right now I'm, I'm asking my guy to get get some uh, get some uh, information. Uh, that now I do that. Well, the only past life that I'm being made aware of right now, and that um, is this is taking this is taking me back to the early 16, 1600s, and that. And uh, I know they used to have a lot of trials for what witches back then, you know, and so a lot of them were executed than that. But I feel that you were told, I feel that you, that you were told back then that don't, don't worry about what's going to happen to you now, that you're going to be, you're going to be coming back in the next life. And that, and that, and when you do, and that, you'll be, uh, uh, can, 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 you say, can you say that again and catch up? You'll be continuing your journey, is what, is what you're telling me. So basically, uh, what happened to you in the past, now that they're back here on the earth plane, you can uh, you can continue your work of what you couldn't do back then. You can continue do, doing your work now. And one of the, and, and one of your colleagues, one of your fellow witches, I want to call it one of your, one of your colleagues, and that um, might end, might end up being your guide. Now this I'm not sure on, but this is just a feeling right now. So I would say, can't, can't keep working at your work, keep you know doing doing the good work plan to this is which and that because of of the things that you wanted to do back then, and that you can continue doing doing. Oh, and also, um, oh and. People are gonna notice you more because you're because you're you're gonna be shining a very bright light. I feel, and that and I'm not sure if you know it or not, but in the spirit world, 
you're a, a real light beacon. And that, and people will either see that or feel that. Okay, so that, that's the only link that I was given, sorry to say. Um, now, now uh, Twist the Witch, explain to him, because he doesn't know you. I, so I, 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 I do. No idea. So, uh, Lady Wolf, thank you. Yes, the horse whisper. Yeah, and so, and I'll explain mm -hmm. that in a minute, Lady Wolf. Me too, Pamela. Uh, Pamela, uh, actually, uh, talk to your dad. Uh, I want both of y'all back on my show. Uh, I talked about your dad the other day, so I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Laura, Lauren, I remember one time my sister was in the hospital and really sick. So here's the deal with that. Uh, when you have the intuitive abilities that you have, especially when it comes to people that you are connected with, it, whether it is spiritual, whether it's a vibrational, uh, you can call it love. And when I say love, I'm not talking lust. I'm talking actually true love, as in love as in a family member, as a loved one, not as a as a, a spouse or husband and wife or a partner. I, that there's, I would I would tell you the difference. That you can actually feel pain and the sickness and stuff. Uh, a lot of people, and Brian can, can explain this on himself, that a lot of people that have these abilities, when they go to do readings, uh, especially when people that have crossed over, can feel what they have crossed over from, whether it was from a heart attack, a stroke, uh, problems breathing, if they had lung cancer, smoke inhalation. Uh, now that has scared me and turned me away from doing certain things with abilities because it's just, it's to me, it's freaky. Okay. Because it, if you never experienced stuff like that before, it, it, it scares me. And yeah. Sonny would tell you, don't, don't be scared. Either get on the horse and ride or get off. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I mean, I mean, she's, I, I mean, everybody's right about it. Uh, Twister Witch, heck yeah, I'm totally happy with that. Stingray, my life's been basically a tragedy, a comedy, and an adventure. Can you tell me anything about my journey? Think about that. Like, so, yeah. can I have a crack at him? Now, I don't know well, him yeah, personally. I, 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 yeah, yeah. So, I, so Stingray, please, what I picked please. up on you from day one, you are a type of person that goes through life that it is what it is. I am who I am. And if you don't like it, then there's the door. Okay. You don't care what people think about you. Sometimes you're hard on yourself and you think too much about certain topics, which I'm not going to air. Okay. Now you got a good sense of humor, but sometimes that humor is the only thing that saves you from some of the deep depression that you go through at times throughout life because some of the tragedies that happen at an early age. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Yep. Now, uh, if that uh, resonates, uh, if that resonates with you, let me know if I'm right or wrong. I'm not gonna say anything else. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah, I'd like to add that when it comes to your journey, and that I feel at, at times you're hesitant about your journey because you're not sure if you're worthy enough, if you're good enough, if you're smart enough, whatever. And that um, I think I think when it comes to your journey, and that to hack what other people say about the the real you and that you know your strengths you know your abilities you know your um you know mindset you're a very you're an, incre an incredibly intelligent person and that um sure you got a sense of humor which uh, which um uh, you know I know lots of people, they, they, they use the sexy humor too much, but in your case, um, it's a kind of a, you know, it's either, it's either use a sexy humor or go into a deep slum. Use your sexy humor instead. Well, use that sexy humor and your drive and determination, that journey, I say, go for it. You know, and oh, and one, and one, and one tip, and that don't look back. You got and you've got some exciting stuff coming up. Welcome, Aaron, to the show. Welcome, Aaron. 
so uh it's it's interesting uh so lauren um when spirits are attracted to you they know that you have abilities and that you're intuitive uh they also indicate that you have opportunities to speak with them that you probably don't know about that you can open it up but you just got to learn how to do that and i don't know why i'm doing this and not brian because i usually don't do this on any of my shows so um don't ask me why i'm doing it i feel awkward doing this but go ahead uh, uh but i'm just letting you know uh, i'm just it, it's just it's just coming out i'm i'm not making this crap up this is just what i'm seeing but you do have the the opportunity to to speak with people that's crossed over and these people know that and they're coming to you because they want them <laughs> to tell you they want their story to be told and they want you to make contact with their loved ones so uh one of the things i recommend is that we have people on my panel i don't mind hooking you up with that can speak with you they don't charge okay so don't even think about none of none of that that can work with you and and see where you're at spiritually and where you're at with your uh i don't want to call it talent but where you're at with your abilities and where you where you need to be tweaked and what they recommend for you to do to open those doors up if you want to uh now i'm not trying to scare you because it scares me uh <laughs> there's some things i don't want to learn because i just don't want to walk around and like see dead people and, and just like talk to them all the time but you know they say once you learn how to do that you can turn it on and off and tell them to go away not tonight not now not it's not the time and they will listen to you so lady wolf uh grizzly i'll take uh i'll take you and brian and i'm open and i'm game <laughs> yeah, oh, and Loren, uh, just lady wolf uh only thing i know is is the first time i met you uh <laughs> you're a very intriguing person uh you hold a lot of information back you're not an open book yourself you you hold a lot of information inside yourself you're very guarded uh you have a lot of trust issues uh i don't oh, know yes. what's happened in your past but it has caused a lot of problems for the future and it still has caused new problems uh i don't know what you have seen or what have you crossed in this world uh whether it's uh on the supernatural side or the regular uh plain side where i called walking among humans uh but there are a lot of things that you are questioning yourself and the world on uh you have a lot of doubts about a lot of things when it comes to uh i don't know why i, I see a, an older an older uh, older male just came through i i don't understand brian you're gonna have to take this I, uh, I got a link with Loren. I don't know. Uh, a male just came through, and he's saying something about um, what? What is a uh, lady wolf? What? What? What's? What's this box about? Does this resonate with you? This older male, uh, five eight five nine, uh, something about a box. Unfortunately, I think we're cross. I think we got a cross link. Is, is this what is this what's going on this is why i don't do this this is why i keep my mouth shut yeah and no I, yeah i've got a i'm a, i've got a with the green uh the the, the uh with the lady with the thing above her e both that. both says lady wolf says both but uh, lady, okay. wolf, lady wolf what are you is something involved a box with you is there a box or something I don't know this guy just came out of nowhere and it's just, it was weird yeah. he was he, he I thought an older him. lady was me uh in the house ron Parrish is hey ron welcome to the house uh i never meant to make anyone in man my stingray man you're not making any man man uh lady wolf what what's this about a box uh, am i like on 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 you or is this like way off topic if it's personal just say personal and we'll leave it we'll let it go 
Um, uh, my name is right in French. A box monkle would be an older male. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a box. It's it's a he's holding a box. What does the box represent? There's something in the box. English way is Lauren. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. He, or do you have a box in your possession or something? Someone is supposed to come and change a cable box. Oh, if that's the case, take your valuables and remove them. That's what that's probably indicating. And keep an eye on whoever's coming over. If that okay, now that makes yeah. sense to me. Okay. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So uh, just be careful. Don't. I'm not. I'm not saying anything bad's going to happen. I'm just saying temptation can be the ruination of men. Yeah. Or not men, yeah. man. Yeah. But, Protect your investment. Yes. The, okay. No. Okay. And Lady Wolf said he would lecture me about that. Okay. <laughs> Well, okay. he he just wanted to come through. I mean, he was very powerful coming through. So it was very strange because they came out of nowhere and was showing yeah. me a box. So that, that was strange. <laughs> uh, being safe. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Sean, welcome back. Uh, glad to have you. Brian, yeah. you're going to take over because that uh, I feel strange doing this. This is you're yeah, supposed to be crazy. doing it. You're by supposed to be doing it. By the way, Gracie. In the spirit world, you are a very bright light, and people are attracted to that. And that look what she just said. It just hit me. I didn't want the cable guy in my bedroom. See, I didn't know it was a bedroom, so that's why he was trying to tell you about. So that would make sense about the valuables ah. and stuff. So ah. yeah, yeah. So you got a spiritual security guard. So the rain. What when, when, when it comes to you and that. I feel that like when I, when I saw your when I when I saw your photo, like I I don't know you at all, as you know, and that I saw you and that you had the most incredible aura, okay. And the two colors that I found was the strongest was um, your being sensitive to other pe other people. Your sensitivity is absolutely un beautiful, but also I feel that you also have a healing color as well. I see blue is a healing color, and that. So people are attracted to to you, and that because then they feel your um, they feel your compassion, okay. But because you're a little not sure, you're you're kind of uh, I don't know if I should do that. I don't understand it enough. I I would say learn learn more about your abilities. They say you're already an empath, okay. And that, which means that you're feeling other people's emotions and their intentions, and that. But um, uh, whenever you feel, whenever you feel someone around, you feel their anxiety or whatever, okay. And that in the spirit world, you're an incredibly bright light, okay. And this this lady that came forward, and that. Oh, um, it's um. That's burgers. I I can. I got, I got a memory like a sieve. Right, more. The rain, and that that um, that the the lady that's come from the from the world of spirit and that now I don't know if she's your grandmother or great grandmother, but I find that she's very um, I don't know she she's very calming, but very encouraging at the same at the same time she's. As if to say, come on, Rick, come on, come on, come on. You know, you had you you have um you, know, you have so many great things, you have so many great things, you know, don't sit around. You know, there's people out there that need your help. If you don't understand, learn. And that there's people out there that to show you and that and oh this lady might end, this, lady, this might end up being, and I'm not sure on this, I'm just, just a feeling, but I feel this may, this, lady, this might be your spiritual guide. And that's the reason why she's encouraging you. And that, so I say, yeah, yeah they're in the, in the heavenly realms, exactly. And that, well, because, because one of them has been given you, the, uh, given them the, the task, and that's the term I use, the task 
uh, to become your guide and that they have that um, responsibility to guide you through your spiritual path. But one thing I would strongly, strongly recommend, I, I recommend this to, to so many people, and that I strongly recommend for you to do meditation. Okay, full meditation where you can actually connect with your spirit guide and ask them for their advice, asking them for their strength, and that. I know I, I do that with my guide, and that. And we're taking at least, uh, I'd say maybe at least a half an hour to an hour every morning to not only meditate, but also ground yourself too. Because if I find that you ground yourself and that you got so much strength ahead of you and that to do your spiritual work. So um, I think she's just giving you kind of a, a kind of like a, a loving nudge. I say, oh, come on, come on. You're like, uh, you're trying to, Okay. Yeah, but the thing okay. though is, ladies and gentlemen, is you know it. I have a lot of doubts, and I don't. I, I, I be honest, I don't like to be wrong, and when I am wrong about things it. in life, you know it. 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 When. When. It, I love law, and that's why I was good with being in law enforcement because I studied law. I was. I was not an attorney. But, you know, I always told people with jobs, if you want to succeed in your job, learn the SOPs, your standard operating procedures, and learn your HR policies and so forth. That way, nobody can ever do you any wrong. You, you know how to fight things if somebody does do you wrong, right? So use that against if someone, something's moving my mouse right now. That was ironic. I see my mouse pointer moving. And I'm not, my both hands are right here. My mouse is over here. But, uh, uh, I don't, I love to promote other people. That's why I have all these different shows. Uh, I, I don't promote myself. Uh, I'm not, I'm not one of those eagle guys that, you know, look at me, we, 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 you know, uh, but uh, people are pushing me to do things and, and just go ahead and just say what comes to mind and, Sometimes Stingray, it, it just it just comes out and I don't even realize what I'm doing until halfway into the conversation. And it's like, I can't believe I'm saying this to you because, A, uh, number one, you really the, the golden rule I was taught, you should never actually go into somebody's head or do a reading unless you ask permission. Right. And so and, and that is the proper way and the professional way to do things. Exactly. And but for me, it's weird because I'll be talking to somebody and just like uh, Lady Wolf, her uncle, which I didn't know who it was, just came out of nowhere holding this box and was like, you need to tell her about this box and let her know, <laughs> which does, didn't make any sense to me. Now, when things come to me or whatever comes to me when it comes to um i'm trying to explain how to figure this out being new and try understanding so when your uncle came to me which i didn't know who it was he didn't say i'm lady wolf's uncle my name's so and so okay and he didn't say that a cable man's coming tomorrow and going to be installing a cable box so what he was trying to explain to me it was something that I would know to tell you that would resonate with you to have you to understand what the meaning is, but not me. It's not like he's saying, Grizzly, tell her the guy that's coming to install the cable box tomorrow, don't leave anything out because temptation may be there and something may end up disappearing. That's not, that's not how things work. You have to take the information that is given to whoever is doing the yeah, reading like that, so and you have to analyze it yourself and figure it out because the images that I'm given does not make sense. They're trying to have me to understand things to relay the information to you. So yeah. uh, I don't know if that helps or not, Lady Wolf, but thank you, Stingray. I appreciate hitting the like button. If one of the, if one of the uh, call me tomorrow, or message me tomorrow. Here's my um, that's my profile on on Facebook. 
Okay, you want to message me tomorrow about, about that. But there's one thing I got to ask you right now because I can you relate to a horse or horses? Because I keep hearing a horse in my head. Now, I know it's not my guy because he's you know, he can control that, but I keep getting a horse, a horse winning in my head. Now, I'm not sure if that if that's if that's you, you or not. If, if, if you have someone in your past linked to horses or to horsing or to you know anything that has to do with horses oh i see lady well i see why do you have so many headaches oh you love horses that's my father-in-law who's my guide and that was a a, a horse uh tr trainer okay thank you i thought he was a breeder a horse trainer so he's telling me a lot about horses. You love horses? Okay, I wasn't sure if it was you or Lorraine, but yeah, I kept getting this the noise of hear, hearing in my. Uh, yeah, um, hey, it can either be uh, the way someone may have uh, passed due to something with the head, or on the scientific side, it could be sinus. Yeah, uh, Brian. Yeah, talk about that, Lorraine. Brian, can you see if my back procedure I had earlier today would work my degenerative disc disease? Now, uh, what I picked up, and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, I think it's going, What I don't know what, what procedure you had done. Uh, I don't think it's not going to hurt. I think it's going to ease some. Uh, I think you got a long road ahead of you. I think there's going to be many treatments uh, that you're going to have to go through. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not a doctor. And don't Neither betray to be I one. Uh, that is something terrible to go through because I have it uh, because of the, the weight of the duty belt and stuff and probably, you know, being overweight. Oh, okay. So, yeah. but, uh, so but yes. I, the rain. Okay. This is what happens when you get two people with abilities in the damn same room together <laughs> and you get all these <laughs> damn things that. flying around. I and, and you get all this energy me. because yeah uh, so it's be gradual okay there will be a recovery but it won't be overnight okay it's gonna be gradual okay but you will have to do all what your um the specialists tell you to do oh wow yeah because i've been yeah. i've experienced the same <laughs> yeah if you don't feel in a message to me that's fine you know i have no problem with that whatsoever but if you do it's up to you but but uh it's gradual, but I like you, you know how it's, it's painful that when you get procedures and it hurts like crap, but over time it gets easier and easier. I feel that. Oh. Lady Wolf's laughing. Uh, <laughs> Lauren, I had six nerves in my back burnt uh, to kill to stop the connection between my back and my brain. Uh, wow. Uh, so that is She's one lucky. Heck of procedure. She's, been, so, she's lucky it didn't get worse. So uh, I wish they would do something for me. Now the when when I when they when when they uh, I that just that I I I just can't even fan that when they thought I broke my back in 2019. That's when they found my cancer and uh, my kidney cancer, and uh, they want to operate on me. Now they don't want to operate on me because I'm too young because of the uh, what do you call it the um, the risk to reward is not there because of my age. I'm too young mm -hmm. because of the chances of me being paralyzed. But oh, yeah, they yeah, want to yeah. go from the front instead of from the back. They want to take Ooh. my organs and put them on the table and operate um, that way. And, uh, oh, I'm like, why wouldn't the world you have to tell me that? <laughs> you know, don't ever tell somebody that. Uh, that really, really makes me want to feel real comfortable having an operation. And then you get second and third opinions. You're like, oh, you're too young. You know, you got to do this and that first. And I tried the injections. I tried everything. Hopefully that works. Uh, now, that is something that they have started doing, I think, not too long ago. Uh, it, when, I, when I say not too long ago, I'm, I'm not saying like last year, two years. It's something that's not been practicing for many years. Yeah. And I heard that they're getting a lot of good results off off of it. Hopefully, you're one of them. So yes, hopefully that does work. 
uh, Mortz uh, just bought a T-shirt. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Crazy Witch. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. I'm really sorry to hear that about her. I mean, that's uh, that's something. Uh, me too, Sean. Uh, Lady Wolf. A doctor told my uncle a red surgery visual, which is in turn, is why he took his life. Um, yeah. Uh, and so... When, when they thought I broke my back and that doctor came in the emergency room because I was on duty when it happened. And that doctor came in and he told me they found um, some spot or a spot. I forgot how many centimeters on my kidney. I actually told him what kidney. It was yeah. funny. It was ironic, right? And it was the right kidney, by the way, since I said right. But uh, they wanted to do a biopsy, and I'm like, no, if you're going to go in, let's go ahead and do the operation and figure out later what it is. And it ended up being small cell carcinoma. And if you watch one of my shows, um, and if you know anything about cancer, that is the worst type of cancer that you could have. And the type of cancer uh, that is on the kidneys with that type usually comes back into your lungs. And I was interviewing a uh, can or not a cancer. I was interviewing a psychic for a panel to become on the panel. And uh, we were just having a normal conversation. And he told me, he's like, can you do me a favor? He said, and this was during a live show, just didn't know anything about me. And he said, can you stand up? And uh, I'm like, Dude, and I'm thinking in my head, you must be a freak and must love bearded guys, right? I mean, you must be into guys, right? You know, and I, I'm, of course, uh, Grizzly's thinking the worst. <laughs> but anyway, so I did what he asked and I stood up and he was like, you were sick as a child and your lungs have scars on them, have nodes. And man, that, I mean, he woke, he got my attention. So every nine months to, well, now it's a year now. Uh, I have to have an MRI CAT scan then on my internal organs on my lungs because when I was a child, I was very sick and mm-hmm. my lungs were scarred. Now, with this type of cancer, I have these uh, nodes on my lungs that show up as looks like little tumors. So they cannot determine if they're tumors or scar tissue on these tests. So that's why they have to do the imaging. They have to measure all these each time. So every 90 days, I have to do certain blood work, three three different types of blood tests to make sure that I stay ahead of the game, that there's no mm-hmm. type of cancer that can come back. Uh, how do we even get on this subject? I'm sorry. I, uh, this <laughs> uh, I, ha- I hope my surgery goes well in a few days. I do, too. I don't see any problems with the surgery. Uh, I think you're going to benefit from it. Uh, I think you're I think you're going to be great. Uh, oh, yeah. I feel I feel that rebel. your your spirit guides and your guardian angels are going to be with you. Do okay. not fear it. You're stressing. You're causing more fear and anxiety on yourself, worrying about it, which you're like me. And I mean, why am I doing another reading, Brian? Brian, you're supposed to be doing this, not me. <laughs> anyway, prayers prior to you, Twisted Witch. Uh, uh, terrible how doctors don't think about how they speak to people. You know what? You're right. I and I actually, Lady Wolf had that issue the, uh, a month ago because uh, I moved cities. Uh, I moved from Lexington, Kentucky to back to backwoods, uh, uh, northern Kentucky, back to my hometown. And uh, if you can understand the medical field and when you go from one insurance company to workman's comp insurance company to another insurance company to switching doctors, right now switching doctors again, and you're in pain treatment and you're under certain medications and they pull your profile. I forgot what the, what the software is called. I can't think we're off the top of my head. Cause I've got, I'm picking up a lot of energy, but it, it looks like you're, you're doctor shopping. So yeah, I had a, Yes, it's it's terrible. It's not like it was when we were younger. They actually <laughs> care about you. Yeah. Uh, crazy witch, Mr. Witch, hope so too. Uh, Sean, 
uh, stigmata they endured. Uh, somebody in the audience, I know this is going to sound weird, is very nauseated right now. And a Twisted Witch, is that you? Is like nauseated right now? Like dizzy? I don't know why. It just, it just like you popped in my head and I got very nauseated. Like I was like nauseated, dizzy. Is this deja vu? Yes. I, I hate deja vu. It drives me crazy. Stingray, uh, Irish, Perps, Maps of 1513, Shows Dogman. Uh, I clicked off on it. Let me, um, in South America. Yes. I, yes. It, and that's the thing. The old maps actually had that. Uh, is this already broadcast earlier? No, this is a different one. Uh, <laughs> so yes, uh, this is, I'll keep you in my prayers. Uh, Sean, mm, Lauren, uh, Let's see here. Uh, the doctor that did my procedure has one of the best uh, sign manners. That's great. Uh, Crazy That's Witch, fair. getting off here, everybody. Have a great night. Much love to y'all. Uh, Twist to Witch, yes. Okay, so that's why. Okay, all right. Just ask. That's all. <laughs> so it's just weird because it's, it's I, you, you came, your face that I'm seeing right now on the screen is, is what I pictured in my head, and I start feeling that, like, very, very bad. So I hope you get feeling better. Uh, yeah, bye, I'm Crazy good. Witch. Uh, see you on the next show. I was late fixing to get off because I was feeling bad. Yeah, it was like very bad. Uh, yeah, I didn't feel very comfortable at all. Somehow I was in live chat, but I was earlier portions of the show. Well, I don't know. Deja vu, baby. You know what can I say? Uh, twisted prayers and blessings. Uh, down, yeah, twisted witch is not feeling good. Uh, is your stomach upsetting as well and twisting and turning? Yeah, I, this is where I don't. This is where I get nervous and I get and I get scared because I don't like feeling this. Yeah, it could be just so that. Twist it, which is uh, could be that negative energy. Well, Lady Wolf says yes. Uh, she's still nauseous because she is worried. That's yeah, and that we said that earlier. But I mean, this is like twist the witch. Relax, take a breath, babe. Uh. I know. Uh, yes, you're feeling still okay. Uh, oh, I, I am feeling what you're feeling, and I am a worry work person too. Okay, things are going to be okay. It, it it's scary. Okay, so uh, it it will. It, everything's going to be all right. Just hang in there. You got a good support team. Uh, Lauren, uh, you can feel it too. Good. Okay. Uh, Zo, hey, new here from the UK. Welcome. I love UK people. I love the accent. Lady Wolf, uh, everybody yeah. hugs and twists. Let me tell you something. Uh, everybody send uh, Twisted some good healing powers and, and some and good vibrations. Energy, positive and, yeah, vibes. because you all did that the other night uh, when I was feeling bad on the show. And uh, I never canceled a show. And I was going to do that that night. And it really helped me. Uh, yeah, welcome, Zoe. I'm uh, glad to have you on the show. Absolutely. Uh, but Lady Wolf, so I was feeling twisted. Wow, yeah. So, see what I'm saying? Uh, Zoe, uh, is there a message for me, please? Okay. I'm going to let Brian take this. Now, Zoe, how this thing works is what are you looking for? Uh, what is your question? Hey, Jack, can you link in? What is your question, Zoe? Uh, uh, healing vibes been sent. I sent mine. Um, yes, yeah, I was really bad, Lady Wolf. I remember that. Yeah, I was, yeah, and you know, it was amazing because I was tell, telling Sonia, um, is when you all was sim sending the, the vibrations and everything, uh, I actually was my body was tingling and mm -hmm. I had warm sensations and, and that scared me because I've really never experienced that before. So, uh, does she still need my help? Everybody needs help. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, what is your question? Uh, Zoe, what is there a message for? 
does she still need my help? Who is she? Help us out here, so. I'm getting out there with, with Zoe. I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's a, a letter or a bill or something that she just uh, received. Well, I was about to say before Zoe put that on there, it's some way it's crossed over, it's asked for help. And I think that just confirmed what I was picking up on. And I'm not, and Zoe doesn't know me. So, Zoe, you can take that with a grain of salt or not. But I was picking yeah. that up before you put that out there. So, I don't know. Evidently, you've been working with somebody that's crossed over. Uh, and I can tell you this um, if you have been, don't stop. Uh, sometimes that it, it takes more than one try or, or, or trying to help people that's crossed to help people to understand or to get them to go to where they need to go um so you make me scratch my head on that i don't know why i'm scratching my head are you scratching your head uh so what tell me more about this lady in the house because now uh you don't see any of those comments really hopefully nothing's crashing uh, yeah, so Zoe asked, does the lady in the house still need my help? Uh, Sean, I'm seeing a chalky green color around Zoe like walls. And now this is where I, I need to learn my chakra colors and, and my aura colors. Uh, I don't have my charts. I have to Google them. And I usually have to bring them up because when I used to see yeah. them on people, I didn't know what they meant. Hey, Luna, welcome to the show. Welcome back. Yeah, well, so, the house now. I feel that like she 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 passed from something that has to do with uh, I think it has something to do with the heart and that. But um, I feel this lady is she's actually more concerned about you than she is about you know leaving because I feel that you, you like I said you found you found something that was a letter or a bill or what it is and you're very worried about it. And she's trying to tell you, don't worry about it. And that, you know, you're looking at you're, you're looking at something the wrong way or something. And that, and um, this lady, I think once you get this result, whatever it is, then she'll think, okay, got a result. Okay, I can move, move on. So I don't feel that she's grounded. I feel she's kind of giving you a little, a little bit of a, a little bit of help in her own way. So I don't, I don't feel anything negative about, about her, and that you may think that she's trapped, but I don't feel that she is personally, and that she's just kind of giving you an encouragement. At least that's that's the thing I'm getting with that. Yeah, yeah, you get, I get, but there's something else. To, there's something that you, you have that you're worried about. I'll show no better or something. I, I have no idea what it is. So, uh, Zoe said, uh, "I was told I have the gift, yeah. and she needs my help." Oh, okay. So this is where it goes back to somebody has abilities that they don't know about and the people that's crossed over knows and they're asking for help yeah, yeah they're, um, so yeah, is this a family one, member one needs the other yeah. so is this a family member or is this somebody that owned the house prior this person's spirit is very proud that guy it's hard to communicate with You had a vision of her. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Was you awake when you had a vision or was this in a dream? Lived in the area. Wow. Now this, this is a, of her death. Man, we got a lot of people that has abilities in, in the chat tonight. This is awesome. Oh, yeah, because... 
uh, I am picking up a lot of energy from people. Uh, so this is very amazing. This is something that I really haven't really experienced before like this. So uh, that's why I kind of turned red a few times and kind of got quiet. Uh, lived in the area, I think. Her death uh, has I protective angel with him. Sorry. Not asleep, but awake. Okay, well, that's an actual, not actual apparition. Yeah, so that, so. So that tells me that the person that's going to Zoe wants them to help her out. So she has something that she needs to get out to somebody. Yeah. So, Zoe, do you have abilities? Are you an empath or an intuitive or anything? Does somebody in your family have the abilities prior? Uh, this is new to me, Zoe, so I don't I don't know much about this. This is all new to me. Yeah. Or, or Brian's the, Brian's the expert, so. Yeah, you, know, you send out thoughts and you send thoughts out to you because that's how I communicate with my guide. Yeah, sending thoughts out to, your, out to this lady. Then she'll send uh, thoughts back. That's how they do. Almost like uh, telepathy. Zoe's been told I do. So what yeah. are you picking up on Zoe? Well, I'm getting that she that, that she's trying to communicate, but um, not on, not on the right wavelength. Like she's still trying to learn how to communicate, and then or she's uh, she's just being introduced to how to how to communicate wh where and how sometimes through meditation that that actually is a good way to uh connect thank you everybody that uh, that supports me in in ordering shirts and merchandise that that, that actually supports me in the show and my endeavors uh i just want to thank you all much love uh i greatly appreciate that very much uh lauren uh needs to open up to the spirit guide for guidance need to help go with yep. what feels right yeah absolutely yep. uh yep. see so i know i know exactly what you're talking the about again, i no. feel the same way i uh, i'm scared yep meditation i so yep. i'm same way i'm not so open about it either if you if you were to see me on my other shows it's it is scary. I, I'm I'm still scared about it. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, hey, being scared is normal. I mean, you're that you're human. Yeah, but you, so I'm a reverend, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a certified reverend, and this is where it it kind of gets weird for me. But no, Zo, you're fine. Uh, yep. You're, you're, you're in the right place. Talk to us to uh, one on one. You know. You're, like, do me a favor. Go to your comment section and put out your Facebook group so I can post it out here so everybody can reach you, Brian. So okay. I can copy and paste um, it. But don't See? forget my, my, my messenger thing is still blocked. Yeah, but uh, where, how can they reach you right now? Type that in so I can copy and paste it. Okay. Um, that way okay, I can... I'll, I'll put it in private chat. Yeah, I'll put it in the private chat and I'll I'll post it out there for everybody for you. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll post that. Uh, do me do me post um, our group or our page. Whatever you want to put, you can put both if you want. Okay, I'll put in the, I'll put in the um, the page. Yeah, that's fine. Hold on a second here, Lauren. It sounds like you and I need to talk. It sounds like you are a lot further in the process than, than a lot of people. Uh, I would love to talk to you one on one. Maybe see if you're interested in working on some cold cases and missing person cases. And uh, so, I'll put, it, I'll put it in mine as well. There, there. we go. This is one way you can get a hold of of everybody, and. Uh, 
And what I'll do too is next time before we come on is I'll make a couple of banners at the bottom to where they could. Oh, I just put that back to you. But oh, hold on, let me send it to them. So there we go. And this way everybody can click on it, and that way they can get a hold of you and and Derek and them. So, but now, you know, it's it is a scary thing uh, learning this and so not having somebody there to hold your hand. Uh, I, thankfully, I've got a, a woman that uh, that I'm seeing that uh, is a psychic medium and uh, that I, helps me. And, what? and beautiful. sometimes I just turn it off and just don't want to mess with it at all. But tonight it just came out a lot. So and I'm good it, it too. Yeah, it still makes me nervous. It was supposed to, you're supposed to be doing all this, not me. <laughs> Yeah, I got. I better get off in a few minutes. And I'd, yeah. I know it's getting late. I, I, I know. I, I'm, I'm, com I'm completely drained. But I'll tell you one thing. I have never had so much fun with, and also helping these beautiful people in chat. You know, like this is my, this is the highlight of my day is helping these beautiful people, as well as uh, being on the show. You know, like I can do, I, I can do this for a living. I love it so much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Lady Love Grizzly, that's what I've been reading someone, uh, needing someone to guide me. Uh, yeah, you know how to get a hold of me. Get a hold of me. I'll hook you up with some people. Uh, Lauren, sometimes you have to turn it off to take a break. Absolutely. Uh, follow me <laughs> yeah, on nice Facebook. Switch. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad that uh, Brian filled in for Derek. Hopefully, Derek oh. gets feeling better. It was uh, an honor. So uh, I could have went to the panel and got anybody, but for some reason, uh, I thought Brian would be a good fit and give him an opportunity to come on board and, and introduce him. I was you know. blessed and honored. So, and it was an honor to have you, and and, uh, and I greatly appreciate it. And and you know, ladies and gentlemen, you know, don't ever feel like that you can't come on or show or anything like that. And you know, talk about things and. Well, very well. I love you too. So. I hope you feel better. But you know, speak what you want. You know, we're not here. We're not going to judge anybody. Okay. But uh, hey, thank you, Lauren. I really appreciate that. You know, uh, I always send love to light to everybody. You know, uh, but that's the way to be in life. And I didn't exactly. mean to go on a on a spiel in the beginning of the show about treating uh, how to treat people, but I just wanted to get off my chest because life's too short. Hey, Terry, uh, welcome to the show. Make sure and go back and rewind. And ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow I have everything uploaded for all the audio people. Uh, don't forget, if you need anything, uh, you can always find me, Grizzly on the Hunt, anywhere on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And I'm everywhere. Uh, <laughs> next time, we'll have, uh, maybe we'll just have an open mic night. Just have everybody come on and, and oh, talk. Cool. And tell their own stories. But from coast to coast, ladies and gentlemen, around the world, this is Grizzly. And who? Yeah. Yeah, hey. you're supposed to say Brian. Oh, so. sorry, and uh, that's I'm, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> and Brian. That's right. Yeah, Lady Wolf. I'm glad somebody loves some grizzly. But yes, uh, everywhere and anywhere. That's awesome bread. That's right. You always break that bread with uh, some awesome awareness. Absolutely. Uh, thank you, guys. And uh, beard. Uh, I thought that's what you meant, but I just wanted to make sure and said bread. Yeah, you got but, two yeah, beards. Uh, yeah, you know, I got to turn my beard cam back on. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Hopefully you all have a good night. And God have bless you day, all. Buddy. We'll see you on the next side. Take care. Bye. Bye.
it's a grizzly. Should we get out of here? No. We're gonna watch and listen. It's a grizzly. Oh, ship, should we run? <laughs> no. Action. It's a grizzly. Oh, shit. should we run? <laughs> okay. It's a grizzly. Are you sure it's not Jim Monk? <laughs> No, I'm out of here. Action. It's a grizzly. Oh, I'm out of here. Huh. Maybe it is a chipmunk. It's a grizzly. Oh, f it. Are we gonna die? I don't know. We're just gonna sit here and listen and watch. Let's get out of here, maybe. <laughs> Fall! <laughs> <laughs>